Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. We're doing some comfort cooking today, starting with what I consider to be the ultimate comfort food casserole. You can make it four different ways. So it's like four in one. You can use rice or noodles and you can use beef or chicken. So first I'm showing you how I make the chicken one. I'm taking one can of cream of chicken soup, a couple tablespoons of mayo, I think that gives it a good kick, and a couple tablespoons of this chicken broth base. This is a powdered broth and unlike bullion, it doesn't have a lot of junk in it. I then add this can of chicken and then later the rice and just mix it all together. So simple, one bowl and not a lot of mess. When I have sour cream on hand, I will often add in anywhere from two to four tablespoons of fat. Sour cream especially tastes good in the beef one, which is done basically the same way as the chicken one, only of course, you're going to first fry up your beef in your pan and then drain your oil and then add of course your powdered beef broth this time instead of chicken and your cream of mushroom soup this time instead of your cream of chicken soup and i do add a couple tablespoons of mayo to this as well and then at the end i add the rice the mayonnaise is optional but i just think it really brings something extra to this dish as I stated earlier, you could totally change this up by putting in noodles instead of the rice, so whatever is your preference. This super simple meal is one of my family's favorites, and I'm really happy to share it with you. Next up is my favorite granola recipe. It is my grandma's granola recipe. It takes four cups of quick oats, a quarter cup of brown sugar, and a half a cup of wheat germ. And believe me, you have to have the wheat germ. There's something cozy about the flavor, so don't be put off by the word germ. I then add the sunflower seeds, which are optional, but I do put in a third cup of them. Next, I add a quarter cup of coconut and a half a cup of walnuts. I do use a grinder. I know I'm very old school. My friend Tracy would say incurably so. You'll want to give the dry ingredients a good stir before adding in the wet ingredients. Now I'm adding a tablespoon of vanilla and three tablespoons of water. I combine the two so that the vanilla disperses more evenly into the granola. Next, I'm adding in two thirds cup of honey or maple syrup, either one works. Then add in one half cup of vegetable oil and give it another really good stir. I'm going to give you a close up so you can see the shiny honey in there. So good, just the right sweetness and not too much. Now for the last ingredient, I'm just sprinkling it with cinnamon. You're going to do the first toasting at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. And then pull it out and give it a good stir. Turn your oven down to 200 degrees and then put it in for another 12 to 15 minutes. And you're going to repeat this process until you get your granola toasted the way you like it. I do like mine a little bit dry while still allowing for some of those sweet honey chunks of granola. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. I've done three toastings now and I think I'm content with it. Check out this big clump. There's so much sweetness in there, but again, not too much. It still feels healthy. Now I'm going to use my kitchen containers. I still love these from Walmart. I first showed these in my summer kitchen organize and decorate video. And at the very end, I love to add in raisins or dried strawberries. I usually double the recipe for this one because my kids love it so much. I hope you've enjoyed this video featuring some of my family's favorite comfort food recipes. They're all very simple to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, stay thankful.